Hey everybody, it's Nautica and I'm back with another video. So this video is actually sponsored by Amino. So I know you guys have heard me talk about Amino a lot in the past and I've been using this app for a while. Pretty much Amino is a mobile network of communities for every interest on the planet from A to Z, such as drawing Amino, art and OC's Amino, and my new favorite, My Hero Academia Amino. This is one of the best places to connect with people who share your interests. It doesn't matter what style of art you have, whether it's DIY project, bullet journaling, or simply just some fan art, you can find others on Amino who share the same interests. Amino is one of the best ways to get comfortable with sharing your work. I know feedback does make you better and everyone needs to start somewhere. Art communities such as drawing and art Amino are great places to get feedback from other growing artists. Let's face it, I understand how nerve-wracking it is to post your work on the internet, but on Amino, people are actually happy to comment and like your work. Amino provides inspiring artists with a platform that encourages meaningful feedback and a sense of community, so you guys should totally go share your stuff. Oh my goodness, you guys should totally go chat with me also. I actually got featured, so I'm pretty happy about that, and thank you to all who liked it saw my artwork and i'd love to see your artwork so you can go pretty much chat with me and show me some of your art the link is down in the description box below and thank you also amino for sponsoring this video hey everybody what's up long time no see so right now i am working on some tone tan paper that my friend she gave to me um it was a really nice gift especially considering the fact that i've been like pretty like sick for the last couple months uh yeah it kind of sucks because like i kind of wanted to post but i really didn't want to push myself too hard but i'm slowly getting back to posting a lot more on instagram so if i'm posting anywhere it's on instagram for right now um but i do really do enjoy this tone tan paper i want to do a lot more kind of not necessarily finished work but some more colored works um, the thing about tone tan paper that I like, it tends to make your darks really, really dark and your lights, like, really, really light, like your highlights and whites and stuff like that. So I decided to draw my little, my three little babies, um, Rhyme, Falsetto, and Melody, uh, the sisters, because I, I'm not gonna lie, I barely draw them together, and people barely know, like, <laughs> my OCs. Everyone's been asking for an OC d introduction, but I don't know, it's just not... That might happen by now it's just one of the things i don't know like i'm not sure but i really do would love to continue to work in this tone tan paper it's really um it's really nice <laughs> um i don't know is there any updates that i have to give you guys um my snake seems a lot better and also i figured out she's not five like i think my like low-key like my snake might be 20 like <laughs> She might be 20. She's like pretty old. Like uh, she's almost as tall as me. I'm five feet, so she's right like four, six. So um, that's that's pretty big. <laughs> um, yeah. So that that's been going on. I actually have been stocking up some stuff for my store. And by the way, since I have been sick, I have gotten a lot of stuff back in the mail. From other individuals uh, who did order stuff from my store thank you so much um, but you guys end up putting your address wrong or your name wrong I have one order I try to send out like three times but I'm just guessing the person just didn't have their name correct or right or anything like that so I'm slowly getting those back out and once I get those back out I will reopen my store so everything's been pretty slow I haven't been working as much as I usually do um, it sucks but <laughs> I know I'm slowly getting back into it and I'm pretty happy because I'm actually have well I actually have a um, sketch of I don't know her name but I, I think her name is called zero two like I hope that's her name like don't roast me um, I have a sketch of her and I really want to do like a full color artwork of her I'm not sure if I'll post it or not but it's uh, it's just one of those things bro like I, she's been drawn a lot and plus I um <laughs> I've been watching a lot of anime because uh, I've been like in the bed so yeah and um yeah so I, that's pretty much what I've been doing I got a couple of prints and stuff done 
and a couple things finished and completed so I think I'll have at least five to six things on my store once I relaunch it um like I said again I yeah I've been feeling pretty bad like I just have not been feeling well at all slowly making me transitioning back into YouTube in RT art world um so I've been slowly replying back to emails I think it'll take me about like two to three weeks to fix up everything and that'll be pretty much it um hmm what else do I have to talk about oh the anime that I've been watching well the anime that I've been watching as of recently I finished Tokyo Ghoul Re and um it, uh, I don't like it <laughs> it was so bad <laughs> guys like d don't play it was so bad I know you're there for that Kaneki but uh, it was pretty it was not good to me so I'm thinking about just reading the manga but I did finish My Hero Academia and I love it like I, that's a really good anime so if anyone is like sleeping on that like I did don't sleep on it it's such a good anime I love pretty much all the care. I love all the characters even like the villains like I except for one for all but still like um you, can, you can't go wrong like I, I literally love all those characters they, they're amazing even though you know I wasn't really sure about it there's always a character that you just don't like but I like them it's pretty good so I don't know if I might do fan art or not or I might just do a couple doodles in my sketchbook I think I'll do a couple doodles in my sketchbook for the most part and uh, yeah so that's been pretty much it it feels so good to like have a pencil in my hand because it's been kind of off and on for the past couple months and it just feels really good to kind of get back in the swing of things um i really do miss it like i said i'm not sure if this is permanent or not so don't look forward to it but i am posting on instagram and for right now if you kind of want to help me out you can totally i have some of my artwork for sale plus i'm doing commissions so that totally helps me out um so just hit me up you can email me or what else like hit me up on instagram dad totally helps but for right now i'm i'm pretty much just chilling and trying and getting a lot of stuff done i'm thinking about making some personal art because i haven't made a lot of personal art as of lately except for these doodles they don't count okay <laughs> so um yeah how have you guys been like i know the fourth of july just passed like a lot of holidays passed if i'm not mistaken i hope so i hope not um, nothing much has been going on. Oh, I got a new laptop because my other laptop like clunked out on me, so it's really small. I can't hold that much storage, but I'm that's I'm pretty much holding off on this one for like I guess like a couple months until I'm able to buy a new laptop. So that's pretty much what all the you know the money is going towards and stuff like that. So, like I said, if you want to support me, you can buy some of my artwork. I do have some for sale or commissioning for the most part. Just until I get back into the swing of things. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, people ask me about the pen that I'm using. It's an Uni pen. Um, I actually like this pen. It's probably one of my favorite pens for the most part. I don't know. I just like the way it feels gliding through your fingers I I don't know like just gliding on the paper it glides like so smoothly and I really do like it and I actually noticed that like my character the second one uh that's my character falsetto I rarely draw her without her bandages and it's kind of weird <laughs> and like I might start putting her bandages back on her face it's really odd so she has like bandages that cover up her eyes and I forgot to put that in the drawing so dang i'm looking back at it like oh you failed <laughs> um i mean if i do that then i'll have to add hands to everything and this is one of those drawings where well not drawings i consider this more like a like a doodle is i you know rarely draw them all together and stuff like that but um yeah so tell me how how things have been going with you guys for like the past like month <laughs> Or two months or just let me know how your 4th of July was you guys know I'm not type to celebrate holidays but I did end up popping a couple fireworks and firecrackers and all that good stuff so just let me know what was up with you guys did you guys barbecue any of that and uh yeah so I will talk with you guys in the video 
Bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. <laughs> the video was supposed to end, but I remembered that I'm going to be doing a draw this in your own style meme on Instagram soon. So I will be posting a drawing. I don't know if it should be new or not, but I will be posting a drawing and I would like for you guys to redraw that in your style. Uh, that would be super, super cool. And I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um... I'm pretty short-sighted right now for a giveaway, so I'm thinking about doing a giveaway pretty soon. I think that would actually be pretty great, especially um, on Instagram, since I am about to reach the 600,000 follower mark. No, 60,000. I just, that, that was too much. <laughs> 600,000, no, not yet. That, not there yet, but yeah, I'm going to be w reaching the 60,000 follower mark, and I'm probably going to wait a little bit until I hit the um, 90,000 here I'm not really sure uh, you guys should totally see if, like any ideas you want to come up for the giveaway I'd love to do a contest but contests to me are very just tedious and long and drawn out and for a contest I'm gonna need more than one person to help me out <laughs> um, plus if it, there was a contest I'd love to get like really really super 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 nice prizes you'll still get nice prizes for the giveaway but super super nice prizes because i don't know like all that hard work you put into you know just doing any of that like any piece of artwork i i just feel like you know it should be worth it <laughs> uh and i do like giving gifts so it's kind of my thing so i'll probably just hold off on that for a little bit but that is something I really want to do and I've been thinking about it for months and I'm like well I can't wait to reach there so I'll be able to do it it'll be really fun and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about tutorials that'll be coming very soon I did not forget I like to do tutorials they're pretty fun um you guys laugh for some odd reason and that's pretty much what I like to do so um like I said again, I'm, I'm going to be ending the video now, actually. And I will talk with you guys in another video next time. Let me know your ideas. Bye.